Hello, this is Jeff. Join us at the mighty Talflator Mouse test range. Here we test the latest and greatest, most exotic shotgun ammunition in the world. We'll bring you along and show you the results. Today we'll be testing out the Warwolf Ordnance 3 inch Magnum Mega Ball. This uses a spherical solid lead ball, and we're calling this one in the test regular because this is how they sell them. In order to see if they could make any improvements to the product, they wanted to try a different wad system. We'll be calling these extra crispy. It's just what we called them, and maybe we we're hungry. All right, welcome back to Off Later Crew. We're out here at the private, private rifle range again, and uh, you guys uh, ever watch Buffalo Outdoors? If not, you ought to. Yeah, he needs more subscribers. He needs some more subscribers, and the man is one heck of a shot with almost anything. He makes Hickok look like. Uh, oh yeah. No, he's on. He's on par with Hickok. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, he, he's up there. The man is definitely good. Yeah. Uh, go over, check him out, subscribe, show a little support for uh, good old Buffalo. He's not that we have a problem with Hickok. You no, know, people no, are like, no. but you got, you got to have something to uh, to balance him with there. Yeah. Anyway, today uh, we got some of these uh, from Warwolf. It's a Mega Ball Slug, one and an eighth ounce. It's a three inch Magnum, baby. Three inch Magnums. Anyway, we're going to try these out, and he's got some loaded with a different type of wad. Yeah, we're doing a little experimentation for him, uh, just test shooting to see how his wad system diff. It's the same powder load, different wad system. He wants us to just see if there's any difference. Anyway. We've got us a uh, water jug here about uh, 12 yards down range. And we've got some others at 50 and 100. Uh, hey, we'll you never know. We'll see what they do. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on with this. And we got Greg flying his drone around here, so. Yeah. We so we don't hear that. jets or helicopters or b crop duster planes. What would we do with pure silence out here? I know, yeah. <laughs> okay, anytime you're ready. All right, here we go. 15.56. That's quite a boom there. Yeah. Now you may have noticed that our chronograph reading was a little lower than their 1,750 feet per second uh, advertised velocity understand that we were filming on a pretty cool day only about 60 degrees they probably tested their ammo at 90 or 100 degrees and this is a safety margin I'd much rather have a 10 percent drop in velocity on a cool day than go 10 percent over on a hot day the gun might blow up we're gonna try the other type of wad this time we'll just kind of alternate see if there's any difference in accuracy that's about probably the only thing we'll actually see but we'll see if they can penetrate 21 <laughs> terrible VHS tapes. Somebody out there is going to cry. Yeah, we found these in a ditch, so. <laughs> oh, Wayne's World right up front. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Fire and hole. 15. All right, we see the lead ball flying along. It looks good because there's no flat spots on or anything, and we also get a glimpse of the wad. But it turns out the uh, video cassettes are a lot tougher than we thought. Uh, it went through about half of them, then squared out the left side. Okay, what, what are the results? <laughs> well, he got Wayne right there in the belly. That was a crotch shot. Oh. He took it through the rom-com section. What's romantic comedy? Romantic comedies. Oh, look at look at the... Children's. The, look how the damage is changing there. Right there in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Christmas. Oh, uh -oh. that's a classic. Must, must have hit the turtle shell. Look at that, push that tape out the back. Wow. That's pretty cool. And then he got in here through Shakespeare in Love and... It bounced off of Nick Cage's face <laughs> and shot off to the left that's, somewhere. That's always what happens in, in exactly. the... Exactly. Hollywood gets all gun stuff right, you know? 
the number of things that have bounced off of Nick Cage's face. <laughs> oh. The normal ones? The normal ones, yes. Okay. Let's see how it hydroshocks. Let's see Hydroshock does to a VHS tape. <laughs> you gotta do something with these tapes, so. They're all from Blockbuster, believe it or not. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh! oh wow. Oh. <laughs> we gotta, remember, we gotta pick all that stuff up. So far everything is looking pretty good. We're just using a smoothbore shotgun for the first part of the test. Accuracy looks pretty good, even with the regular ones. And the energy transfer was just amazing. It just shattered that poor uh, video cassette. Hey, it's that's not Danny. What the hell? Oh, hey, oh, hey. you guys were there. <laughs> okay, Hickok. Are you using the original style or extra crispy? These, this one is the extra tasty crispy. Okay. It says right there X for extra oh, okay. tasty crispy. So that's yeah, how that's the experimental one. That's how you know. Okay. Uh, where, 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 I can't tell where you're aiming at. <laughs> the uh, black star. Okay. Black we'll see star. how we'll see how Greg shoots. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. A little little competition is not bad. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Woo, I see what you mean. Right <laughs> there. So far, we're not seeing that much of a difference between the regular and the experimental wad systems wasn't terribly inaccurate, just shot a little bit low. Remember the shotgun has no rear sight, so there's no uh, really elevation reference, so you just have to feel that out. You never even used that shotgun before, right? No, that's, uh, that's Danny, okay, young, we gotta young go. Danny's shotgun. Yeah, <laughs> so don't. This isn't a competition so much. Oh, it's always a competition with the commenters. Okay. Look at the size of these craters, though. So what, this is the mini ball. Yeah, or the no, no, mega ball, and, you, and you're just a little low. What's this one? That was the uh, that was the mini ball, wasn't it? Right. And this mini is and the, mega. And that's the fury. Looks like the mini did better than the mega. The mini is nothing to mess with, man. And both of these, though, man, you could throw Cheerios There's and some milk in there. Uh oh, Jeff's got the uh, Yoda thing going on now. It's time to yeah. pack it up. People, people think we should pronounce French words like the French, you know, but... We do. French fries is pronounced French fries. <laughs> you ought to hear how they pronounce Greg, you know. Chevrolet. How, they go, Greg. Oui. It's like, that's not how you pronounce Greg. <laughs> so there you go. It is a very We're not France. French. Imagine it's that. F.A. for Jeff. Yeah, F.A. F.A. Okay, going, you got the original or extra crispy? These are originals. Okay. Still, they do it 50 yards. Uh, I think we stretched that a little bit. That might be 60. 60 yards, okay. Yeah. Then we'll try it at that barrel at 100 yards, but let's start out close, see where they're landing. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're on the extra crispy, the experimental. And you want it on the... Uh... The bag on the left? The yeah, the left sack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> left sack. That sack. Be be <laughs> okay, try what shotgun are you using on this one? This is the Weatherby PA four five nine. With with a red dot on it. Red dot. Let's see it, if it does any better. Well it certainly should protect our nose better with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not as much nose impact. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Alright, let's try it. Nope. Off to the right? I think so. Let's try it. Nope. Off to the right? Both Danny and Greg's shots were a little bit to the right. So these have a tendency to
creep a little bit to the right. This one just glanced the side of the cement, so they're not as inaccurate as we thought they were. Move, if we set a target at about 25 yards or so, is that about right? Yeah, a little over 25 yards out there. Okay, just to try to figure out where these, we might have gotten ahead of our skis here. <laughs> Don't hit that train in the background, by okay, the way. I'll try just to shoot in between the cars. Okay. It's only three and a half miles away. <laughs> okay, let's see if we could hit the little jug at about 25 yards. I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, yeah. If these do have a tendency to shoot a little bit to the right, well, the trend should continue even at 25 yards. So yeah, we can confirm that these, compared to a foster slug, do shoot a little bit to the right. Elevation was still good. Energy dump was excellent. We decided to try one more shot at 50 yards using the Weatherby smoothbore shotgun. Okay, now that we know kind of where they're hitting at 25 yards, let's see if we can transfer that to 50 yards and hit it. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Nope. You almost, you almost hit, hit the barrel. barrel. Well, no such luck. Nope. Okay, Danny thinks maybe with a rifle barrel we can get to 100 yards. Yeah. Cross your fingers. <laughs> you think you can get with a little red dot might help. Okay, let's try it. Let's Which one are you using? Extra in. crispy or regular? This or extra crispy. Okay, I'm ready. All righty. Here we go. Hit the barrel. I think he hit it. Sound like a hit. High and right, you can see the. the yeah, big hole. Well, there you go. Okay, another rifle shot, 50 yards this time. If he can hit that barrel at 100 yards, I think he can hit. The cement sack, because I want to see that cement sack get smashed. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Is that regular or extra crispy? Oh, extra crispy. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. There we go. Finally. Finally. It, these things are definitely more stable with a rifled barrel, believe it or not. I, I, you rarely hear me say this, but we did get better accuracy and consistency with a rifled barrel. We had pretty good results up to about 35 yards with a smooth bore. And these are, you know, it's subjective, you know, maybe with oh, yeah. a different shotgun, a different shooter, different uh, whatever. Greg skimmed it here. You see the lead mark. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. Okay, so he did hit it. Yeah, he did hit it. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. And then through the rifle, these seem to be, for me, shooting a little bit left, or right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. One way or another. They're going right, yeah, yeah. So here's my point of impact. Yeah. My point of he impact. needs to make the mini ball rounds. Oh yeah. People will buy those. But that's surprising to a rifle barrel that a ball would. Maybe just a stiffer barrel, you know. Better. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. but. I'm glad we we able to redeem them, you know, and, and finally and hit that dang thing. And then at 100 yards. Yeah, I was starting to think that we never hit it with a uh, 100 yard hit yeah, with anything, but. That's what I'm going to point aim about here. Figured on some drop, and it went to the right. Okay, and it and it went right through it, right? Oh, well, turn it, it, turn it. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Didn't even slow down. Oh, don't cut yourself, man. You get tough. the tetanus. <laughs> mm. But, yeah. 100 yards, rifle barrel. Yeah. Surprise. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, Greg's new drone footage from his Mavic Air. That thing's pretty awesome. Anyway, we want to thank our channel members and our Patreon members. This month's Patreon giveaway is a Fifth Ops 12 gauge triple arm.